Hello, hello. It is week three of our figure drawing basics challenge in the month of September. So I got some bad news and some good news. The bad news is the recording spontaneously combusted after our Tuesday evening call just now. So unfortunately we missed all the fun of live drawing with our group that was on tonight. However, the good news is I'm here to quickly recap and make sure you have everything you need to know for drawing for the next two weeks because very important note, next week, the fourth week of September, we will not have our live call. However, you can come on back to this recording if you wanna check back in to see what the dealio is. And I do encourage you to continue drawing 30 minutes a day throughout next week, the fourth week of September. And we do have a step-by-step -step guide for this the third week of September. So I'll be on the road next week. And this could also next week be a good time to check out some of the courses that are out there in the Learn.10 Steps to Drawing community. So there is the From Stick Figures to Savvy Sketches free course. That's a really fun one. It would not probably not even take you, definitely not the five days of 30 minutes of drawing a day, but it's a really fun, simple shape focused figure drawing class that also incorporates backgrounds and environments and architecture and backgrounds are what we're gonna be focusing on next month in the month of October. So we'll take all of this great figure drawing stuff we've been practicing and give it a world, a surrounding for our students or for our figures. So that's what you've got to look forward to. And let me go ahead. So let's dive into the figure drawing week three and four challenge. So. For day one and two, the first couple of days that you're gonna be practicing, I am challenging you with anatomy. So check it out. This is going to be the page that you're gonna work on for day one and two. And honestly, this could even take up to three or four days because as you can see, this is some intricate stuff. So here we have the male anatomy. And by actually studying and practicing these essential skeletal forms, you are going to have such a better understanding of how and why the human figure is the way that it is. Please don't worry about actually knowing all of the words for the different um, bits of anatomy. It could be extra credit. It's helpful, but we're not in a medical class. So if you don't know your patella from your tibia, it's not a problem for me. Could be handy. And especially this uh, knee structure you'll see is, is really fascinating when you're drawing knees, you see all of these shadows and it's really helpful to understand why you have that complex structure and shading around the knee and understanding anatomy is really gonna help with that. So by understanding the anatomy underneath the figure, we are able to then hang the muscles and the skin on top of a very solid and um, believable structure. And also by understanding anatomy, you're going to be able to fix problems. Very often when you're looking at a figure and you're thinking to yourself, gosh, that doesn't look right. What's wrong with it? Why does it, what's, what's my problem? If you get a kind of almost subconscious grasp on the anatomy, then you'll be able to tell, dang it, you know what? I forgot to, to leave enough room for the full mandible, this, this jawbone. Or maybe you don't have enough of a, a hook in your clavicle. All of these different um, bones start to appear once you've gotten familiar with them. So even though I know some people get really weirded out by anatomy or they don't like the idea of it, once you start drawing it, you'll get into a groove and it is so helpful. I myself resisted anatomy for the longest time. And finally in college, I studied abroad in Italy and it was non-negotiable. In fact, the art professor was shocked that all of us American students didn't know all of the muscles and bones of the body. That was just a requirement for art students in um, Europe, in Italy specifically. So it's really essential. It's going to help you so much. So day one potentially could take you two days of 30 minutes of drawing. Go ahead and draw that male figure. And day two, or however long it takes you, whenever you get around to her, we'll do the female figure, the female anatomy. And there are some very noticeable differences, especially if you look here in the hips. 
just notice how much broader toward the bottom the sits bones or base of the pelvis is here. You can see the, the back has a big open area for babies to pop on through, whereas the male um, pelvic structure is much more square. She's got some broader hips here. We'll also notice, especially in the skull, we see a lot of differences between the male and the female anatomy. So something I always found interesting is that females have a much more delicate, slender, fine mandible or jawbone. So you can see how her jawbone tends to curve in at the outside and is generally smaller. Also, the male skull has a much more pronounced brow bone. So if you're ever looking at a male, you'll notice that they have a bit of a bump or kind of a projected eyebrow bone <laughs> that women don't have so much. So for a woman, our skulls tend to be much flatter. There's not a projection just above the eyes. So those are just a couple of the small differences that you'll notice as you practice by copying this anatomy structure. Um, and I hope that it gets deep, deep down into your artistic DNA because by practicing this, your figures are going to be much more realistic. And it's just the same reason that we practice drawing the nude figure and not the clothed figure. If you don't know what's happening underneath the clothes, it's really hard to realistically hang that the fabric on top. And so same with the actual muscles and skin. If you don't know the skeletal system underneath, it's not going to be um, as believable, as realistic um, as it would be if you knew your skeletal anatomy. And again, I'm not saying knowing every muscle and bones name, but definitely um, having at least once practiced drawing this out. A little quick tip for you is to start, as always, with really light guidelines. This is going to be very challenging, if not impossible, if you start with all of the details and fine lines at the beginning. Instead, I would say start with some um, very lightly drawn outside guidelines, the big shapes first, maybe give some general um, lines just like we do for the mannequin skeleton, that little advanced stick figure we've been drawing for our figures. And then from there, you're gonna be able to develop each of the smaller bones. So please take your time. Honestly, this could take you anywhere from two to four days. So I want y'all to really internalize, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> your skeleton anatomy. Okay, so that is gonna be day your first couple of days of drawing um, for this coming week. And then after that, we are going to be spending the rest of the week and all of week four in real figure drawing class mode. So we are putting it all into practice. If you can, how amazing would it be to go to a real life drawing class? If you got the opportunity, oh my gosh, please do and let us know how it goes. And please know that it's gonna be a big hot mess in the beginning and probably after an hour, you'll feel like you're in the zone. So that's normal. Um, if you don't have a class available to you, then check out line-of-action.com and we're going to do the class mode this time. So up until now, when we've been doing the lineofaction.com, we've been going to all the same length poses and we will practice, or I'll show you what that looks like when you enter that, that mode and Unfortunately, that is what we did tonight at the uh, live drawing. So sorry that recording didn't come through, but I'll show you exactly what it looks like in a second here. Just wanna mention, I went ahead and added a bonus page. And both of these images are from the epic Andrew Loomis's figure drawing for all it's worth book. Um, that link is in the topics section under figure drawing basics. So if you would like to get that downloadable free PDF, just go on over to learn.10 steps to drawing or access it through your app. Check out the sidebar where you'll see topics. And if you click the figure drawing topic, it's gonna be listed as, um, it'll look like three lines, horizontal lines, and you'll see the, the downloadable um, option. So what this bonus is all about is the value scale, using your full range of light to dark to create realistic three-dimensional figures. You're welcome to use this particular image or 
whatever you find elsewhere. Um, but as you'll see, the most important thing I'd like you to do here is actually include a drawn out value scale, practice that value scale before you begin drawing the figure. And you would begin drawing the figure just the same way we've been practicing, get some guidelines in, um, start from the mannequin frame and then develop it into the shapes and then finally the shading to get that form. And when you're there doing that shading, check your work, ask yourself, where's my brightest highlight? Where are my white areas? Do I have that? Yes. How about the second to lightest shading? Hmm. Okay. I'm seeing that here in these, um, still brightly lit, but, uh, slightly shaded areas of depth. Um, same with the mid tones. Those are really where a lot of the, the richness happens is that subtle difference between, um, light and dark and not that just high contrast black and white. So at the same time, you do still want to make sure you've got a few areas that have that darkest dark. And in her figure here, I'm really only seeing that under her arm and a bit um, under the chin, around the back of her hair. And the rest, she's got very softly shaded gradations of the mid-range and high-range tones with a nice, strong contrast of the background to make her pop. So that's your bonus in case you want to do something besides just 30 minutes of figure drawing a day. Um, you've got that option. Don't forget to post your work because I want to see what you are up to. So let's see what you'll be doing for the class sessions of the figure drawing homework. So here at line-of-action.com, you're going to click figure drawing. That'll take you here to our figure study tool. You're going to go to nude models both male and female. And here's where we're really changing things up. This time we're going to class mode. And in the class mode, we're taking the shortest version, the 30 minute class. So that's going to be 10 30 second poses, five one minute poses, two five minute poses, and one 10 minute long pose. This is exactly what a real life drawing class is like. However, usually a life drawing class is something more like two hours, which you could definitely just give yourself a longer class there. So that would be six 30 second poses, three one minute poses, and so on until you finally have a nice long 50 minute pose. And what's really cool about lineofaction.com is if you don't like what the model is doing, you can switch around and find a better um, model pose that you like and work with that. And when the 30 second poses, I wouldn't be too picky. They go so quickly. And of course, because they're going so quickly, the expectation is not for you to get anything more than just that mannequin frame, this guy right here. So when you first begin those 30 second and one minute poses, you're only going to aim to get the head, the line of the shoulders and hips and spine line and limbs. By the time you get to a minute, you might have time to add your rib cage, five minute poses. You might get into some of our more formative shapes, the three dimensional suggestions of just a little bit of shading. And finally, in the longer 10 minute pose, just go for it at all the detail you can. And just want to show y'all real quick what we did in class today, but unfortunately it's lost forever. Uh, these were the 30 second poses that I did about 10 of them here. And as you can see, it took me a while just to even get into the groove of finding those key shapes, sorry, key lines. And I was kind of trying to check my proportions at the same time, but going this quickly, you don't have a lot of time to think, which actually can be a good thing because boom, you just, it's like, get it right or you don't get it at all. And you can be loose and flowy. Don't don't stress about these. Nobody can draw anything in 30 seconds. Okay. Here was the one minute poses. And I got a little bit further, drew a little bit larger. And the main difference is you see the rib cage here. So I had a little bit more time to check my proportions, but um, not time to add any shapes or anything like that. The next couple of drawings here, we have five minutes, five minutes, and 10 minutes is what we did in class tonight. And as you can see, I still started in a very light pen drawing my guidelines and 
kind of that mannequin stick figure underneath. And then I came back in a thicker pen to add outlines. And I went back to my skinny little pen to do some shading. This lady, same idea, not the best execution. <laughs> and then finally with a 10 minute pose, I'll tell you that time goes so fast. So even though it feels like 10 minutes is a long time, it goes by quickly when you're in the zone. So that is your drawing homework for the next two weeks. I hope that you have a lot of fun. Please post your work so I can get a little feedback. I'm gonna miss you guys next Tuesday, but I will be checking in, I will be posting, I will be drawing like crazy. I'm going to a big event in Austin, Texas this coming Tuesday, which is why I won't be there. I'll be on the road, but I will be drawing. So I'll hopefully get to post some of the drawings I do at the event. Anytime I go to see anything where there's people on stage, get my sketchbook out. Alrighty, please post any questions that you have underneath this video or just directly to me in a chat. And thank you so much for your dedication to drawing. Just keep sticking with it and you're just gonna get better and better and have more and more fun until you're addicted and you're carrying your sketchbook everywhere. Thanks so much and I will see you in our community group. Adios.